I want you to see, here's your priming moisturizer. I'm gonna take a thin sponge that's right here. And here we go. Here's a quick little demo. Let's see what the time is. Oh, I better hurry it up. It's caught. I have 15 minutes now. So, 15 minutes. Would you like to be an author? Would you like to be going in the red carpet on TV? What would you like to be, Karen, today? A bride. What would you like? You could be all of. Which one should she be? Where should she be going? Red carpet or on TV or in a movie? Red carpet. All right, let's do it. We're going to red carpet you out, Karen. So we have that. I'm going to put this down because if I have several people, I can put them down and know who belongs to who. Karen is going to be our... How do you match? I'm going to take this. You match by side one has to be lighter than your skin. Side two has to be darker than the skin. So that when you're taking your spatula, I'll put it here. Let me look at you. Side one. This is the medium. Eh, you usually wear the light of the medium. See, here's the medium. Side one. Lighter than her skin. Face that way one second. Okay? It's gonna go here. Side two. I'm gonna put that right here. If she's the medium foundation, she will be the light medium salmon concealer. Fair, light, medium. So here's the light. I'll put it right here. Here's the medium. And she'll be the rosy blush. That's it. Everything's on my palette. Here we go. Foundation. The hardest thing people say is how to put foundation on the face, yeah? There's no matching. No matching, no thinking. Side one, this is called reverse contour. Side that says Eve Pearl, you grab side one. Use the palette to grab the color. Don't do it on the person's face. Do it here. Grab side one. All the person has to do, Karen, I'll do is smile. When she smiles, I look for this cheek, and this goes right underneath, right here. You turn the brush around. That's it, just put it on one side. Turn the brush around. The second side you gotta pay for, the one side I do for free. <laughs> we turn the brush around, we grab side two, okay? Side two goes right here. Don't worry that it looks like you're like, oh my God, it's not even matching, it's not even the same. It doesn't look the same at all. Nowhere near the same. Just keep going. Just follow, just do what I'm telling you. Trust my 18 years of doing this, it's gonna work. Side two goes here, goes on the forehead, goes on the nose, anywhere there's redness, discoloration. And it goes on the chin. Side one, the lighter color is here because the neck is light. Side two, darker color goes here because all the redness discoloration is here. Side one also goes on the eyelid. Close your eyes, please, thank you. Okay, then we're gonna take a damp sponge, okay? Good products are very important. Sponges, I'm gonna throw this at you, okay, catch. That's okay, those are not to be used on people that you like. I want you to feel the difference between a nice sponge. I did have a basketball scholarship, even though I'm jumping like a girl now. Okay, the reason I want you to feel those is because a non-latex sponge will allow you to make it wet underwater, but don't leave it wet. Don't leave it so it's dripping, this is too wet. Take a paper towel, and make sure that it's no water dripping out, but that it's nice and fully wet. Or you could also use a pro blender, okay? Ooh, it's a nice fat one. And when you first get the pro blenders are tiny, make it wet. I'm gonna sacrifice my nice little chubby one and have you guys feel this one too. <laughs> All right, uh, you're gonna take your damp sponge and we're gonna smooth all this down. Once you've worked it in, and remember I told you, people wanna see skin. It needs to be flawless, but skin, skin is very important. Open your eyes one second, great. 
The next thing we do, we're going to do the concealer. Oh, this is light medium. The darker color gets rid of the dark. Open your eyes, the darkness. It's going to be darker than her face. Go with it. It's going to, it's going to neutralize the blue, and then we're going to use the lighter color to brighten. When you're rushed, just put them together. It'll, the product will do the work for you. Okay, close your eyes for one second. Now, I'll leave this out of my hand. This is number 120 brush. I'm gonna put right into this little blush color. And I'm gonna say, could you smile please? When she smiles, I'm gonna put this little blush color right here. Too much product. Take your little sponge. <laughs> now, take a look at the mirror for a second. I don't have a mirror and I'm being blinded by all the lights, but I know that this side of her face looks higher than the other, does it? Okay, now, now I'm gonna to proceed to do the entire makeup application with the eyes. I just want you to see how fast the whole foundation part is. It's really fast. Now, I'm gonna do a real makeup. We're ready for how fast it's gonna be, yeah? I would do both sides, close your eyes. I would start the eye makeup first. Let's pretend there's nothing here. I needed to show you how fast that was so that now you can see when you're doing a makeup, you do the eyes and right above the eyebrows first. You take your sponge, you blend everything out. I'm gonna to go to this Invisible Finish Powderless Powder. That's gonna be my setting, okay? It's gonna set everything, look at that. It's set it now. I'm going to go use, we're, going, we're doing red carpet, right? Let's go with Diamond on. We'll do a little bit of Diamond and some of the Eau Natural. This is how fast the whole process is with a little finger palette. Put this away, we'll put this in here, and we'll put these away. And later I want to do it on a guy, that oil, little oil demo. Here we go. The reason we do the eye makeup first is so that no matter what happens, whatever falls, we're gonna be able to clean it up. The first, the first step, oh, and I want to, oh natural, the first step, a little bit of the two lighter colors. You can look straight ahead, I will work around you. As a makeup artist, you better learn how to stand in one area and work around the person. Because there's usually not gonna be any room for you here. You wanna have the right eyeliner. This is an award-winning liner. It's not a felt, it's a brush tip. So you see you can do higher, you can do actual, very, very easy application. You make the liner, do one side, do the other side. Don't drive yourself crazy trying to be too perfect. Make sure that you get it close to the lash line. That's the part that has to be perfect. The top part, you can make a mess. And Jason, you can come in as close as you want. I want everyone to see how easy it is. I'm gonna use actually the darkest colors, the Diva and the Diamond. But when she's done, she's not gonna look crazy. She's gonna look gorgeous. I want you to see the Diamond, the darkest color here. And we're gonna smoke this out a little bit with the darkest color. The darkest color of the diamond. Now you just don't be very helpful because most celebrities are not gonna be that helpful. They're gonna be on their phone. They're gonna be eating. I don't want you to waste your time uh, tapping on products. Grab the darkest color and the color on top. Don't tap it. Use whatever you have to do one side, do the other side, go halfway up. So it was one shot, that's what double pigment means. Same one palette. Go to the bronzer on the edge, on the edge of both, back and forth, a little bit more on the edge. We're blending it out, we're smoking it out. 
But we're not going to give her a smoky eye. We're just going to give her a beautiful eye. And when she's done, people are going to notice how beautiful she is, not how beautiful the makeup is. By the way, you can also use this wet or dry. You always want to make sure you have some water with you. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of water because I want you to see how to use this wet. Okay, I'm going to put a little water into this slot, side slot. We never have brushes in our products because it's stupid. You throw those out. So I use this to, as a mixture. Take your brush, put it in the water. You don't want too much of it. I'm going to grab a little bit of this, a little bit of the gold and a little bit of the, of the diamond. And now I'm going to do this and this. You see how beautiful? Hopefully you guys can see how beautiful this looks on her eyelid. And the last little, the last little mixer right here, right at the outside. Open your eyes for a minute, Karen. You look lovely. Okay, that was the whole eye makeup process. This is the mat we're gonna finish off with. Now I'm going to do the eyebrows. I will use the eyebrow spoolie brush, which is your number 109. These three colors, by the way, this is our, you, this is like the must-have palette, double pigmented. These three colors are matte. They're great for basic eyeshadows, but for your brows and your hairline. And these all have a little bit of a shimmer. So, one, two, three, one, two, three is for everybody. If you got dark hair, start here, end here. Start here, end here with red hair. Start here, end here with blonde hair. Always start on the arch first. I just do all three. Eventually the right color will happen. Everything that I've created has a universal spectrum of color, which means it will become exactly the shade your skin needs it to be. Okay, we've got that, we've got that. Now, usually at this point, I will say, could you open your eyes please? Oh, uh, look how cute you look. I have a new, uh, mascara, hold on, mascara. All right, I don't have any disposable, so Ro Karen's gonna get to keep this, look down. All right, we have that, that is yours. And now we're gonna clean up. Go back to the prime moisturizer, look up. In case anything falls, clean up underneath and then do the foundation. Even though we kinda of did, but I'm gonna make sure it's, it's done now the right way. And to show you what it looks like from the pot itself, if you were the medium, right side one, smile please, goes right here, right here. It's compatible, I can do it over here again. Side two, turn the brush around, goes right here. I'll pretend it wasn't done, just so you see how long it would take. Side one, side two, on the forehead, on the nose, on the chin. Don't blend it on the face, just put it there. Then go and grab your concealer brush. Your concealer right from here. Again, every now and then I want to use it right from the product because I want the person that I'm using it on to be like, oh, I can do it myself. Depends on where you're going and who you're using it on. If you know it's like a high-end person, do it off with product. If you're going to do a studio with lots of people, do it off your palette. I'll explain to you the psychology in a moment. This is the concealers. I'm putting them both together. One, two because we've got to make sure we get to the whole negotiating on how we do the whole right thing. Take your sponge. Blend it. If you guys have any questions, you could try to shout them out while um, lovely what was, what was Brittany? Lovely Brittany has a mic, so if you have a question, you can raise your hand and Brittany can come towards you and let you shout it out. 
This is what you call flawless. Take the brush, make sure there's no redness where you don't need it. We're gonna make sure we put the redness where we want it. We're gonna raise everything up. As you get more mature, everything kind of falls and we wanna raise everything up. So we say, could you smile please? When she smiles, this goes right above. See how high? Right above, right here. We're gonna raise Karen's cheeks. Then we're gonna go to the invisible finish. We're gonna set everything. We're gonna go to the powder, to the blush. And with the blush, I'm gonna put this here. There's a blush brush. No thinking required. All three colors. Could you smile, please? We start right here and take it up. All three colors, start right here, and we take it up. Sorry, can I ask you a quick question? What was the active ingredient in the finishing invisible? Um... Astaxanthin. It's spelled A-S-T-A-X-A-N. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. A-S-T-A-X-A-N-T-H-I-N. A N T H I N. It's on the boxes. Oh, here. Oh, it is. I can just read okay. if I was smart. A N T A X A N T H I N. It's on here. Here, I can't throw this because this is dangerous to throw. You can read it off of here. I do, you know, I do have some legal. Okay, brown. The whole line, and my always, I only carry two pencils a black and a brown. Everything else is ridiculous because you can use your shadows for that. I only carry two lip pencils, a natural and like a deep one. Everything else is nonsense. It's a waste of time, in my opinion. Look up. And again, I have a makeup line. I should have all these colors. No, my goal is not to sell ridiculous colors. My goal is to have you use something, do it right, have it successful, and then do more and get better at it. So this is the brownie. You want to put some liner, but you don't want to make it too harsh. Let's say you put your brownie on and you're like, oh, it's a little bit too harsh. I don't know what to do. Ugh. And let's say her eyes couldn't open. Just try to get some color there. But this is a magic palette because this one has a little bit of the bronzer in here that's also your eraser. So this will erase and smooth out liquid liner, pencil liner, so that you have something but not too, too much. All right, lips. This is the plot that most people go a little crazy. This is the Cosmo. You gotta have this Cosmo. It has a little brush on the other side. It goes on like a cream, but it's not. And when you're doing someone's lips, give them a little rounded lip and not a, uh, not a pointed lip. And if you're gonna make them a little bit bigger, not close, try to make it round rather than long. So if you notice here, what I'm doing is I'm slowly accentuating Karen's lips and I'm making them a little bit rounder. Can you guys see that? And then, oh, you gotta have, let me show you my favorite, favorite thing. This is our lip palette. It's got 18 colors of our, these are dual, they're like highly performance colors. And the back of it has the name. They're all individual lipsticks. So when you use your favorite color, and I can use the same one on every single person, like my favorite two colors, you could tell I've got here Enchanted, Every Bride, but my two colors, I'll, I'll tell you what they are, and let's see what, let's see what Karen will pick. But it's Love Story or Park Avenue Rose. Let's see what Karen will pick. It's the only time I let them choose, sometimes. Which one would you like? Could you read what that color was? Oh, sorry. I'll read it for you. It's Park Avenue Rose. <laughs> so, which is this one right here. Okay, you can't go wrong with Park Avenue Rose. Good, good choice. You know, or Love Story. They're very similar colors. The reason I know that, because it works on everybody. So I always would carry one extra, Park Avenue Rose or a Love Story. Because if I'm doing the bride, you know, the bride will usually like uh, a lip gloss called Baby Doll.
Now let me tell you, please don't get caught up with the hype of, oh, I gotta do, and nothing against you, Karen. Oh, I gotta do the 20 year old, you know, six foot tall model. Not just for the financial reasons of it, because there's no better result than when you do a real woman. Because all real women, which we are, are beautiful. And to make a real woman look like herself on a good day is the most important thing that you will do. Even though you think, oh, it's gonna be doing the fashion shows. No, because you're not gonna get treated nicely or paid highly or anything other than what the brand gets. I know because I'm the brand. Another little trick, take the salmon concealer and do this right here on the outside of the lips. It will give it a lift. Okay. Ooh, I got 10 minutes, but I made it to my cutoff. We have that, that, here. I wanna do a little bit of the invisible finish to finish it off. And we're gonna finish it off with a little gloss. Again, uh, every bride picks baby doll, everyone a little bit picks hey sexy. Let's see, which one would you like? She's the bride, she's the baby doll. And you get to keep this too, Karen, because... And all the lip glosses taste nice. That's for you, this is for you. You get gifts too, why shouldn't you get gifts? You're, you tracked me down from TVSN and the least you could do is get some gifts. How does Karen look? Karen, take a look, how, take a look at yourself. I, should, I gotta fix this, I messed it up. You feel good? <laughs> and she would have never worn eyeliner. Well, that's all you, that's great. We're gonna take photos of you in a moment. Thank you very much. I gotta take care of business things. Thank you very much, it was a pleasure to meet you. We'll take our photos in a moment. And Rose, you can clear up this little mess. The reason I did this, you guys, is it's really important for you to see, like that's what's important. I want, I'm gonna have Karen walk up and down so you can see her close up face. You know, and you don't have to be perfect. Most people will hire you because of your personality and because you show up on time and because you're not an annoying energy, seriously. That will be the top reason that people will hire you. So there's lots of great artists that never work because they're pains in the butt. You know who they are. Hope if you're one of those people that are wondering why no one is hiring you, take a minute. It's okay. I'm a really good assistant and I'm a great leader, but I'm a great follower. I get clean brushes and I can schlep bags and boxes just as much as I can do a great makeup job. And every single person is just as valuable as the celebrity. So please, you guys, when you do reach all those wonderful levels, don't overlook the, you know, the PA, the production assistant, or the assistant, or the little girl who wants to come see you, or the little guy that like isn't sure what he wants to do. Make sure you give everyone the appropriate amount of time and energy. And I wish you guys great luck. Come see us. Thank you.